There we go. Ticked over a second. Okay. After several hours of screwing around and grounded, I have comprised, compilated, made, wrote out, fathomed into being, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I made a fucking list of things. Okay. First of all, I've been playing on the, the so-called mild difficulty setting. I think it's the lowest setting. Ergo, there's a lot of tweaks that need to be made just for the difficulty setting alone. First tweak is on my list. Ladybugs attacking too frequently and or the stun effect that they give you lasting too long. All the NPC bugs in the game are fucking aimbots. Then there's the bombardier beetles eating through your health with their spunk projectiles. Literally boiling your health away. That's the actual animation that it uses in game. It boils at your feet. Yeah, okay. There should be an initial fucking uh, blast of damage that takes off a, a, enough of a chunk to let you know, hey, this is a decent threat. But the, the rest of the damage over time effect for just standing in the bombardier's spunk just shouldn't be that fucking ridiculous where it takes 28 fucking percent of your health each second and keeps you immobile okay uh, now on to some other things oh the pollen that drops off the flowers the interactive area or box that um is assigned to the in-game object is too small and to compensate for that it either needs to be expanded about 50 percent or the player's cursor area of interactive interactivity with in-game objects needs to be expanded regarding just the piece of pollen itself that falls off the flowers. <sighs> ah, here. Various NPC insects in the game clip out of bounds. I actually have a video clip of that that I haven't uploaded to my channel yet, but it's going to get there. Spoilers, it was a bombardier beetle shooting at me from inside of a fucking rock. Ah, the hitbox for gnats is too small. And on top of that, when you swing a melee weapon in the game, it doesn't have a an arc of attack that interacts with every hitbox for every part of the... Uh, whatever insect you're fighting in the game space no it has that pinpoint prick accuracy m marker on screen and if you don't hit that then you you're just not gonna hit a fucking gnat so either the hitbox for the gnat needs to be a larger which that would help on a lower difficulty setting then you could sh shrink it for the higher difficulty settings but in conjunction with that when you swing a melee weapon there needs to be a definitive arc of attack in the game's coding files that n runs the calculation for what enemy is in this line of attack and how much damage it takes from that attack ah then there's the problem with ladybugs not respawning. Last time I saw anything about that was five updates ago. The blocking mechanic. It's too sluggish and unresponsive. It needs to snap into position 
to be used. Just in general, the, the player character moves way too fucking slow. Just overall in general, in addition to that. Alright. Ah. I went hunting for berries. Here's, here's, here's something I remember from... <laughs> And when the berry falls from being hit with an arrow, the arrow should remain lodged in the berry. That way, when it falls and hits the ground, you can retrieve your arrow and chop the berry. That's just something else I've noticed. All of these things, I've, I've got more on the list, but all of these things need to be addressed. Need to be looked at after every update. You need to take the time play test through it on your own whoever you are making the game go through a list of every bug and glitch in the game's system coding files whatever whether it's from me or whoever else submitting error reports to you and you know letting you know these things are happening or you play test it on your own which you should play test it regardless of what anyone says. In every update where you add new content, you need to go through and look at all the bugs and glitches and make sure that they're not reoccurring. And if they are, you need to come up with a stability patch for that update. Whether or not you're already doing this, well, my list of bugs and errors just sort of shows that you're not doing it. <sighs> Feathers that drop off the raven, crow, whatever it is, those should give a minimum of four pieces of, of feather, not one. Ah, recycling, when you break down stuff and move your base, it needs to return, refund, all, every last single crafting component that went into it. I don't care what difficulty you're on. I don't care what your opinion of it is. It needs to refund all the crafting components that were used in its construction. Multiplayer. This has been a problem since the game first fucking came out. It needs to have a friends only and an invite only session option for when you host an online multiplayer session. This needs to be implemented immediately. It's been five fucking updates since the last time I played and made a recording or a video on it. This shit needs to get fixed right fucking now. Swimming mechanics. Yeah, it needs a passive float in place on the surface of the water put into the game's files. And that's just today's list of things. I'm pretty sure I'll find more tomorrow or later on. Um, yeah, whoever you are making this game, Ask Unknown Worlds uh, about what they did in Subnautica for a uh, float in place on surface of water mechanic. Ask them if they'll share that with you. And yeah, get that put into place. Now, uh, let's see. There's a few things that were added to the game that I, I like seeing. The mutations is one of them. However, there's a massive problem with the description of the mutations as well as everything else in the game's in-game menu system. All this bullshit way of explaining things, like it's some lore-based bullshit, I don't fucking care about it. In a crafting survival game, it has no fucking place being a lore element. You want to put lore into the game? Put it in through Burgle or the fucking shit you explore in the game. Not in the fucking menu section. What needs to be done is that each item needs to have a 
proper, accurate, concise, precise description of what it is, what it does, how it functions in the game, the mutations, and the fucking added effects from armor set bonuses. I don't give a fuck about the fucking cutesy way of explaining it. That's just fucking annoying. That's it for this video. Don't bother commenting whether you agree or disagree with this list because it's the truth of what should be done. I don't give a fuck about your goddamn opinion. Grow the fuck up, realize that you're not an important piece of shit, and get the fuck off my channel.